check this out. Queens always seem to bring back more bees when she returns, so that's a nice bunch of activity there at that entrance. So I use this tool here to scrape down boxes and old frames or foundations. Uh, I try to cycle out wax probably every two years. What I do with all of this old scraped out wax, see it might have uh, damage on it, uh, whatnot. Just try to keep the, the decent parts and then I fill it into this solar wax melter. It's just a simple styrofoam cooler, piece of glass, get a piece of tin, bend it at an angle use a piece of mesh and then I angle it so as the wax melts it gets caught in a little foil bread pan and then once the bread pan hardens look at that nice little sheet of wax so super simple you scrape that part off the nice beeswax styrofoam cooler super cheap all right folks let's go ahead and reload this thing so again it's just a empty box with a solid cover on it. And this is all brood comb, just scraped out. Freeze this if you can. Um, I'm not freezing this stuff because I'm kind of doing this on the fly, but I promise you if you freeze it and then crumble it, it'll be faster acting and it will do a lot better. So I just stuff that comb in there, kind of pack it in there nice and nice. See the bees are all over it. Okay, I'm gonna add my piece of glass. Make sure no bees are trapped in there. All right, and I try to press it a little bit. Now it is on an angle, just a little bit. See, I kind of got a couple of frames, so that way as the wax melts, it's gonna catch on that tin pan and then drip on the bottom. Oh, I forgot to add my bread pan. Here's a bread pan, I just filled it with some water. That water's gonna evaporate and that's fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so we got our water pan in there, right below where the wax is gonna come out. I'm gonna go ahead and add this glass, kind of press it down a little bit so the bees will kind of hopefully stay out of there. And that's it. And you'll notice I have a swarm catch box right here too. Just an empty 10 frame with some brood, brood combs in there. Nothing special. Again, I'm using an old bottom board, screen bottom board. So as the smell from all of this kind of permeates through the air, um, that's going to attract a lot of bees. I should probably locate this elsewhere. But bees are always bees are always next to my truck anyhow. So if they're going to fly out this way, they're going to get enticed. If there's a swarm nearby, uh, they're probably going to go check out that box. I just kind of throw a telescoping top over my wax collecting container. Keep the rain out. And... Kind of having it close by will prevent that piece of glass from sliding if it tries to slide it won't fall and break so that's it y'all if i catch a swarm you know how i set this up there's no lure no uh, swarm science no swarm commander just old stinky brood comb so i'll keep you posted